Man, I gotta say guys, March has been an amazing month movies. We had Need for Speed. Yeah, I said it. Come at me, bros. We had 300 Nymphomaniac, Bad Words. We have Noah coming up. And now we have this. The Grand Budapest Hotel. So the Grand Budapest Hotel stars Raul Fines as Mr. Kustav, who is the owner of the Grand Budapest Hotel. And so basically the movie follows Jude Law talking to this guy, I can't remember who the actor's name was, but he's talking to this guy about his history with Mr. Kustav and it shows him as an Indian guy or Vietnam. I don't remember. I don't want to destroy the ethnicity, I'm sorry. But it basically shows the guy's story as he developed his friendship with Mr. Gustav and just the antics they all get into. Now, I of course was really looking forward to Grand Budapest Hotel because for one thing, I absolutely love Wes Anderson's movies. I love Fantastic Mr. Fox. Moonrise Kingdom is one of the best coming of age stories I've ever seen. The Life of Clock with Steve Zuzu. I have to see the Royal Tenenbaums. And I was really looking forward to this because no one really makes movies like Wes Anderson and he continues to prove that he is one of the most original filmmakers on the planet today besides Christopher Nolan, really. Ralph Fiennes does an outstanding job as Mr. Gustav. He has his dramatic moments, he had some laugh out loud moments. Every cast member was just on the top of their game in this movie. What also I loved about this movie was how it looked. I love how Wes Anderson uses his colors, and I'm pretty sure he used miniature sets, and the miniature sets looked fantastic in this, especially when he did the establishing shots of the Grand Budapest with the ski sets. They all looked so cool. Wes Anderson seems like such an old-fashioned filmmaker, and we need more of those guys these days in movies. The movie is absolutely hysterical. It's dramatic. It's funny. The cinematography is so well done. One of my favorite scenes in the entire movie is a prison escape scene. The script is very well written. Now, of course, it's Wes Anderson. I believe he writes his own scripts, and and all of his scripts that he's written are so witty, they're so sarcastical, they're so uplifting, they're very heartwarming, it's very charming. Everything that Wes Anderson puts in those movies will get you to smile, and it's also a blast in the movies. The movie has these moments where it has these small bursts of laughter packed in these small dramatic moments, and a few filmmakers can do that, and Wes Anderson is one of those filmmakers. And I also really love the relationship between Gustav and the lobby boy. They really seemed like they had a great friendship. I just really dug their friendship and the antics they got into. I swear to God, there were some parts where I was just expecting Ralph Nates to go like, I'm buying a guitar, bro! The only thing I think they could have improved on is that they could have cut a few scenes a little short because I think it did drag on a little long at times. But otherwise, guys, check out Grand Budapest Hotel. Wes Anderson strikes yet again. So I'm going to give the Grand Budapest Hotel a 4.5 out of 5 stars. If you are a Wes Anderson fan, I highly suggest you check this movie out, guys. Okay, so comment down let me know below of what your favorite Wes Anderson movie is. And I will see you guys next time.